Howdy folks, little John and another uh, day in the whiskey jar and today I am running my first batch of rum. Uh, it's just coming up the tent, we're just about ready to start bringing off four shots. Boils up to about 84 degrees. We're sneaking through the 40s at the moment in the column. I'm getting the occasional drip here. Uh, so, as always, running off the Robo Brew. Uh, I had both elements running up to about 65 degrees. Actually, no, up to about 75, and I switched off the 500, only running the 1900. Uh, and just in the last minute, I've just I've turn the voltage controller back. Um, I wheeled it back to 60%. Um, unfortunately I've lost the um, reading on the um, controller. Um, I'm not getting an output on there so I don't know what the actual, can't see what the actual volts are but um, currently it's 60% and I will dial that back to 50 once this starts actually going. And it's just starting now, I'm just getting Lower grip started, it's getting across again. Uh, it was up to 84. Um, it's not a real lot of alcohol in this, so it's not going to go real, it's going to go a bit higher than normal on the uh, on the boil. So I'll just leave it on the 60 at the moment. I will crank it back probably to about 50. Uh, it seems to be where uh, my setup seems to run nicely. Especially for if I'm going a bit slower anyway. So, um, so good. So while that's happening, we'll have a quick quick uh, run through what we got. So, three weeks ago, I put down the mullet down the wash, and that was uh, three kilos of molasses, which is just the um, the six of the half kilo jars. Uh, squeeze bottles you get from Woolies in the sugar section. Um, I had a few people blow up at me on Facebook because I, you know, telling me I should go down to the, uh, yeah, the local produce shop and buy 20, 20 kilos of it because it's going to be, uh, you know, it's cheaper. Um, and while it is cheaper a kilo, uh, I don't drink a lot of rum, so I think I'm probably going to get enough out of this one run to last me probably for a year, if not longer. So. Um, I don't need to be punching out a whole lot, so um, the three kilos from Woolies was, you know, was fine, fine by me. Uh, there was two kilos of dark brown sugar and one kilo of raw sugar into that mix, uh, and that was made up to a total of 24 litres, uh, so which gave me an original gravity of 1080. Which I pitched on, pitched onto that uh, one packet of Still Spirits Rum Distillish Yeast. Uh, just I didn't do a start. I, I've, I've got a funny film. I haven't written it down, but I seem to remember just throwing it on top of the just throwing it on top. I didn't rehydrate it. No, can't say for sure. I'm pretty sure I just sprinkled it on top and just let it run. Um, which it did, no problem. It's been sitting here in the garage in the uh, you know, mid to high 20s. Uh, finished on 10.08 after about probably for about 10 days, I suppose. So it sat for about the same time, about another 10 days uh, at that. Well, it settled out, which it had settled out pretty well anyway after the, ten, the initial 10 days. I could have could have ran this last week, except I went away for the weekend, so it um, didn't happen. So, it's all good. So, that gives me a ABV of about 9.4%. Um, and I'm just waiting, working at how much alcohol I've got in now. I've got about 22 and a half liters into the robo brew so I should get I 
about 2.1 litres of alcohol out of that. So, I will run off that. Um, so, I'm going to just wait now for this to keep going. It's not quite, not quite there. Sweeping up on 50, 86 there. So, still got a few degrees to go. Um, I haven't worked out the full numbers, but I'll, I'll look at that as I go. But the rough plan for this run is I'm going to take off nice and slow. Um, I'm in no rush, and I said I don't want to. I, I, I'm still only doing the one batch. I'm not going to be rerunning, so I'm going to straight to a spirit run. I'm going to do it nice and slow. So I'll, I'll take off um, 200 of um, four shots. Get rid of that. Um, I will probably then take another 200 of heads. Um, which I'll keep aside. Uh, and then from there I'm going to take probably four jars of 400 mils each. And then a final jar of, uh, of tails. Just to finish it out. Um, but what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to keep it down nice and slow. Through the, through the heads and then through that first 400 and then each jar I'm just going to crank up the power just a little bit and just, just to bring the column temp up a fraction uh, and then take each jar do the same on each jar uh, so I'll have four jars that are going to come off at slightly different temperature and power outputs just so I can have a bit of a comparison um, and look at see which one actually produces the nicest finish um, or even just what differences are across the batch on that so I can use that in the future for um, for future batches because uh, there'll definitely be some difference um, so it's going to be interesting so I want to see where the best flavour is going to come off so this is getting pretty close to kicking into good methanol um, so I'll uh, switch the camera off, let it run a bit, I'll come back once we've got a little bit of bit of action going on, we've got somewhere and um, we'll have a look at it then. So I've got uh, I don't know, about 160 mils on four shots, uh, which I've measured it was 79%. Um, and you've seen the shot there, that was uh, the end of well, the end of the jar. It's just finishing now of heads. Uh, there's 200 mil there. Uh, it's actually coming off at around about 80, about 83 degrees from the column, 83 to mid, you know, basically 84. So not quite as slow as I w would have liked, but that's okay. So just swap the new jar over. Uh, let's quickly test where this is. Gum off alcohol wise, I can keep track of what we got. Uh, that's yeah. bang on seventy five per cent, so mils. Okay, so I'm going to let this next jar run uh, and pick up our first jar of oh, might as well call it hearts, but our first uh, good jar. 
and let's get a little okay about two thirds of the way through that jar of heads that was what was coming off was still a bit prickly there's just the tiniest hint of prickle on that um, very very tiny but there's a nice there's definitely a sweetness there as well so um, I'm pretty pretty confident this jar is going to swing nicely into the hearts without too much trouble it's probably just starting to creep over over now so as I said I'm gonna let this one this one run through um, as it is um, the control is actually sitting probably about close to 45 percent um, it's been just a little bit uh, happier today um, it's keeping a slightly higher temp than what it has been um, and I said Colin's sitting at the moment I say about 84 so it's down the lower end of the uh, of the spectrum so I'm going to let this jar come through and then we'll bump it up on the next one just a little bit give an extra couple of percent on the uh, on the power um, just to bring it up a little bit quicker um, and, yeah, and we'll work through it see what, see what difference that's going to make so we'll uh, I'll leave it now I might run through a few jars come back with a, have a quick um, quick catch up on how it's running once we've got a couple more jars done and we're a bit further through this run Right, oh, no, folks. Uh, jumped to the next day. Uh, I got caught up um, a few other things whilst the end of the run yesterday, so I didn't get to uh, come back and look at it. So um, I'm sitting now. I'm going to go through. I'm going to do a little bit of a cut uh, with some of this. I'll split it up a little bit. Uh, we just have a bit of a um, quick taster on what's happening. So I'll do that while we run through what um how we finished up with the run so uh everything's just been sitting overnight with the uh, paper towel just covering it up keeping it clear let the breathe so i'll pull these off now what i've ended up with is i've got seven bottles jars after taking four shots uh, and seven jars I'm going to assess and see what we'll keep and what we won't now the first jar which was the first which was uh, should be just be pure heads there's about 200 mil uh, and then we took about 300 off the next three as I said, just bumping through the temperature, just pumping it just a little bit, about 400 mil of that last jar. And then as we were pushing into the, uh, getting into the higher temps, it started sneaking up into towards the tails. So I took a couple of bigger jars, so that's about 600 mil. And the final jar, which was 700. So. All up from that run, I've got, not counting the four shots, and we'll leave the heads out of the calculation, but we've got 9, 13, 19, 2.6 litres of spirit. Um, now, as I said, I, was, I normally aim for around 2, 2.2 litres of usable stuff from, yeah, that sort of 20... 20 to 22 litre wash um, I probably could have pushed these last two jars to 300 mils even potentially that one to 300 each and then maybe just taking that last one um, which would have left me close to that sort of two litre mark um, which normally works well because I've got a bunch of these two litre jars which I can use for bulk storage um, 
the small batches. But as I said, what I want to do with these, I want to actually look at what came off at each different temperature run. So I've kept a record of each one. Um, and I said, and today's just going to be a quick. I just want to assess each one and have a bit of a taste. And what I'm looking to do is run run keep about 200 mils of these for a couple of jars uh, which we're going to use to assess them individually and then I'm going to combine the rest into the one jar for the moment um, and what I'm going to do with the ageing is that I jumped online last night and I've ordered some rum chips, specifically um, they're a Jamaican, they're from a Jamaican rum, um, so they're going to have a little bit more depth. I've got plenty of American oak here, but um, I want to run some of the Jamaican oak. I'll run a little bit with just the standard American. Uh, and I'm going to run, I've got, also bought some essences, um, a variety of, you know, there's some Aussie, you know, some Jamaican, there's um, light, lighter, darker rums, there's a spiced rum in that. Um, the, I'm not a fan of the essences, and I'm not going to do a hell of a lot of it, but I want to just want to run through and have a just have a comparison and see what, um, how, they, how they all individually work. So I'm just going to cut these back a little bit, just to, obviously just try and get them back more to bottle strength, just to assess them, and so I don't really rip my head off too, too much. Now there's some there's some nose on this bit. Can't really put my finger on exactly what it is. Right, so that's the first jar after the heads, which come off. It was coming off nice and slow, it was just a nice, just a, a steady drip, not a fast drip, but a steady drip, probably two, not quite three drips a second. Um, Colin was sitting on about 83, 84 degrees. Um, that's quite smooth, it's nice, there's a little bit of flavour there. Um, nothing, there's no, nothing prickly, there's no real, no real heat. Uh, which is always nice to see. And I find that particularly down in that um, in that lower end when you keep it slow, you get in, you do keep it fairly smooth. Let's step up into the next fella. This one the temperature pushed up to about 87 on the column. Um, still had a steady drip. Uh, wasn't quite getting into a into a into a run. Um, probably pushing a bit over the three drops a second, sort of sort of level. Now that's got much more nose on it. It's still feeling clean though. Um, that taste is staying in the mouth a little bit more than that first fella did. Uh, it's a little bit more, a bit more pungent. It's still much the same, same sort of flavour though. It's not, yeah, it's not a different flavour. It's just a little bit, just a little bit stronger, a bit more of it.
but they're quite alright. Um, here's this is jar number four, which is again we've pushed up a little bit further here. This was around 80, you know, in the low 88 degree mark, so I remember sitting on 83. 88.3 pretty much the whole time. Uh, now it's come off at 66%. We were at um, 75 up here, and it dropped off 70, 66. Okay, it's going to be a bit more of that alcoholic. Alcoholic smell. It's still the same smell as the, these two. That's just getting a little bit more of that grog edge on it. it smells like a little bit more spice there. And that's still really, really, that's clean and smooth. The flavour's probably a bit more lighter than this. Um, you know, more like the first one. Uh, it's a bit, not as intense as that second jar. It's lingering a little bit more, it's a bit more, a little bit more, um, spicy edge. Not, it's not pepper, but there's just a little bit of spice on the edge. I think that's going to be that's going to make a quite a nice quite a nice base. Now this fella, this was 89, just a little bit higher, and this has come off at 64 percent, so it's just nudged down slightly. And it could possibly be a fraction lower actually. This one did come off a little bit a little bit warmer as the temperature was coming up. Um, the spirit coming off was a little had a little bit more warmth in it, so it wasn't so it's quite possible judging off the, the next dose, it's probably more like you know 62, 61%. So it's probably sitting closer to barrel strength. Okay, there's that. Again, that alcoholic smell. Still a little bit more obvious on that. A little bit more. Yeah, but fusel type of a smell. It's not a. It's not overpowering, eh? Okay. Now, as I said, 89 degrees, starting to sneak up to the point where you're starting to creep up under, under, creep up under, under the tails, um, and plenty of time to work. We sort of, you know, that was coming off. Probably what we're looking at. So that's probably um, where a lot of um, distillers are looking to pull their pull their stuff off. It was a um, a good fast run off the still. It wasn't quite getting a, a solid run, but it was dripping very quickly, um, grabbing some tiny little runs. Um, but it wasn't coming off excessively quickly. Um, again, it's pushing to that point where you're stepping from spirit into stripping. Um, and it's there in that edge. It's got that little, little bitey edge um, starting to come in, but there's more flavour than these other three jars. Um, so I get a good whack of that. Let's cut back with some of these. Um, it's going to make a really nice, um, really nice balance. Now, six, 58 degrees, 92 on the column. 58 percent 
92 on the tollum, off the column. This is very much entering into tails. Um, it's crossing that border, um, probably not quite tails, but, but the start and finishing in tails on the jar. And as I was saying, yeah, it probably wouldn't have hurt to have taken another 300 mil jar before going to this fella. Um, so I probably could have got another nice jar of good flavourful stuff. But sort of starting to get to there. I, I quite often find I like these flavours that do come out in these jars around that, just cre just creeping into the heads, sorry, into the heads, into the tails. Um, I tend to like the, the more intense and more expressive flavours you get down there at this end than you do at the other end. And then you get that surprise. That is really it's a hard word to use, but after these, that is bland. There's a there's a little bit of flavour, a little bit of yeah, that sweet sugary. It's smooth, it's clean. That's really nice. <laughs> um, again, haven't got the flavour of the others, but uh, I said really, that's going to go really well as a builder. Uh, and last jar here, uh, come off at 93 degrees, 50% alcohol. So this is almost bottle strength. nose on that. So a touch of the alcohol underneath but it's got a nice nice bloody sweet dark sugary smell like that molasses smell it's really there. Okay, but you, you can tell you're sneaking in, into, the, into the tails there. Much more of the ethanol flavour. It's the only jar that's had real noticeable alcohol. Um, it's not a burn. It's still, it's still smooth, but it's, it, you can taste it. Um, which isn't a bad thing because when it's cut back, it's going to work. It's, the flavour is nice. That burn edge, the edge of the burn with these smoother ones is going to balance up quite nicely. I don't think there's any problem there. Um, so, quite often you'll, you know, that jar might get ditched. But some people would ditch that or keep it and, you know, add it to faints and use it on the next, per next batch. As I said, that given I'm not going to be making another batch of rum in the, in the near future, um, I really want to use that. And as I said, there's enough flavours. I think even just those two bottles together, I think on their own, would make quite a nice mix. Um, smoothness and plainness of that with the, with the, with the extra warmth of that last bottle. Um, so, yeah. So I'm reasonably happy, so I'm going to use those as the both. Now, first jar of heads, 200 mils of heads, and yeah, I keep that just you know, because sometimes you can find some interesting stuff there. But that's got a still got a very strong um, alcohol smell. Like there's the alcohol there. That's yeah. That's really. Um, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna touch that. 
Sometimes I will I play around with the heads and get a, and use a little bit of it. Um, you can get some really nice intense flavours out of it, but no, um, I'm not even going to taste that. Going off from the smell I'm getting out of that, I don't think I want that anywhere near me. Um, whether some of the four, yeah, whether the four shots have carried over a little bit into that. Um, and tainted it, I'm not sure, but whatever it is, whatever's in there, I'm not I'm not happy with, I'm not gonna play with it. And I've got plenty here, it's not worth worrying about. Now this is the last jar I took off after this fella. Um, I cranked it up hard just to run it off um, just to see where we'd go. And this ended up being I was gonna pick up there on the camera, but yeah, it's considerably it's yeah. It's quite cloudy. It's got no real sweet sugary smells. It's got a acrid sort of nasty edge on the nose. So again, we'll lose that as well. So that's two are gone. Not interested. So. What I'm gonna do for now is I'm going to combine some of these jars into here just for the moment so I can condense my jars back down again uh, so, so, so that's straight in right, throw as well a pair of those together I think the blandness of this in touch with the intensity of the, um, of the of the next one, um, and that's the interesting thing. This is why we take yeah, why you need to be looking at taking cuts because we've gone from this fella, which was yeah, reasonably smooth and clean, and that's but had some good flavour, to the next jar which pretty, had pretty much no flavour, was super clean, to the next jar which was Again, had more flavour, but then had more, yeah, more burn and, and, and bite to it. Uh, and as you saw, four jars there, all quite different. Every one, every jar there is different in its taste and its flavour, its complexity. So, if you're running your running your bloody run through and you're only taking big, taking big jars like that, you're only taking you know three jars or four jars, you're potentially missing a lot of complexity, which you can then work with. Well, yeah, that's what I'd like to do. Um, instead of making just one straight bottle or one kind of you know just one simple um you know batch we'll make a couple of different ones so i will get out of here i will get well, as i'm about to explain i'll get quite a few runs out of this as opposed to just getting you know one or two variations um again it does seem only after a particular style and you can recreate that and you have that yeah well and good it's not where i go so what I'm going to do now is add some of these fellas into this just to um, build up their character a little bit um, and knock the, just knock these down a bit too so I've got a um, amount sort of manageable so I'll pull these back all to 200 mil or oh, thereabouts, I might not get oh, that place I would imagine Camera just spazzed out, the camera memory card was full, so I'm hoping I got to uh, catch everything I was up to. So, just topping up a bit out of each of the uh, first cuts. I'm keeping that 200ml of each. And what I'm going to do with these, I'm just going to hope these all the same. Uh, So what I've got coming is chips from a, that's a Jamaican, Jamaican rum chips. Uh, and I will put the same amount of chip in each of these jars. And then we'll let them sit for a couple of weeks and then try them. And work out 
from that, where I, which, you know, what, what flavour profile I prefer and, you know, have a look at what works so I can have a bit of an idea of what I want to look at down the track of when I'm brewing, next time I'm brewing a rum, if I've got an old bit of an idea of where I want to run it at. Um, or if nothing else, just purely for experimentation, so the flavours are like for something to report on. Uh, so that's these four bottles. What I'm going to do with this, this lot, and I said I've got some essences coming, and what I'll do is I'm going to grow up, I'm going to stick some chips in here, but I'm going to throw some standard American oak in there. Um, actually I've got some used some used um, dominoes there from a bit of bourbon so I'll, I'll throw that in there and I'll let this one so I'll do that once I get off the camera I'm going to throw, I'll throw the oak in there actually no I'll grab it now so these are dominoes I've used on previous bourbon batches um, one or two might have even found the way into some scotch but either way but I'll give this a good dose so then what I'll do is I'll split this into I think there's four different essences coming so I'll split this into four jars and make up a batch of each with the essence and then I'll leave this to sit, some to sit just with the um, just with the oak and put it all in there and then, be able to, and then be able to compare. So at the end of the day I'm going to have four or five, um, eight or nine variations that I can t test and uh, see what, what I believe works the best and at least report on what the flavours are like and um, yeah, maybe give some information to someone at home uh, on what they can look at when they're doing their rum. So that's me for now. So I said, I'll do all this stuff, I'll come back in yeah, three or four weeks We'll do it, and we'll do a um, tasting and a review on all this. Um, actually, well, it's probably going to be a week before I get all the other stuff here, so probably will be closer to a month. So we'll see how we go. So somewhere into uh, into early April, we'll have a look. So that's me for today. So as always, if you got any questions, any comments, stick them down the bottom. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, yeah, come along and join Little John. Hit the button, hit the little red subscribe button down there. Get a notification when there's a video up. Yeah. We're playing around with the still, a bit of, uh, yeah, doing some spirit, or we're making beer, or we're talking about how to make beer, or just talking some nonsense. Come along, there's always something going on. So, that's me, little John for the day. All done. Never down the whiskey jar. So, until I see you next time when we're playing around. Good brewing, bottoms up, cheerio.